she's in here. I put her in here six years ago. Relax, we're gonna find her. Oh, I'm totally relaxed. I'm a relaxed, greedy little girl looking for the 250 bucks they're shelling out for old Tocantinos. Now come to me, Tocantina. Come to Mama. <laughs> You guys bonded over your talking Tinas. You would sell a piece of your childhood for $250? Blah, 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 $250, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. Gotcha. Well, she's looked better. Why didn't we give her the mohawk? Right before the amputation. <laughs> hey, what's this? To my puppy face Jack from Zoe. What? You wrote Jack a Valentine? That's sweet. Yeah, sweet like revenge. I have in my hand gold. How come it's still sealed? For the same reason I still have it. I never sent it. Now give me that card. No, I can crush Jack with this. Why, because Zoe wrote him a Valentine? I would think he'd be flattered. Flattered? He's gonna think she's in love with him. This is gonna screw up his feeble little mind until his head caves in. Jane, don't open that envelope. You cannot show Jack that letter. It'll be more humiliating to me than it is worth it to you. Oh, well. I can still stick a knife in my beloved twin. What's today, Tuesday? Tuesday is my favorite day. <laughs> I mean it. You cannot show Jack that letter. I mean, every single thing sacred between us literally rests in the palm of your hand. Please, for me. I promise I will not tell Jack you wanted him in those oh-so-important pre-pube years. <laughs> Thanks. Now I'm gonna be miserable all day tomorrow. Alone on Valentine's Day. Jeez, what's more pathetic than two high school girls alone on Valentine's Day? <laughs> Don't look at me. What are you keeping from me? I have nothing to say to you, Jack. Jane, we're twins. I automatically know every secret you have. Get out of my head, Jack. You're thinking that you want pizza and that you'd like to take a shower with the new lunch lady. <laughs> You're reading your own mind, Jack. You're the stupidest man in the world. You think you just give me your puppy face and I'll spill? Puppy face? There's so much more to it than that. Who are you with, Zoe? It's a curse, this twin thing. I knew you'd put it together. Of course. Well, it was fifth grade. Who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter about the uh, thing. The Valentine's card. Right. So what's up with puppy face? So what? She called you puppy face. Who cares? Zoe B. Don't do anything dumb, Jack. Always knew it. Oh, yeah. Seen it in her eyes. Zoe B. <laughs> You can't say anything. I promised her I wouldn't tell. I won't. Where is she? Time to close the deal. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Zoe. <laughs> I thought so. Don't play this, Jack. You'll kill Zoe and me, our friendship. Oh. <laughs> I mean, come on. Our friendship. Yeah, right. It all makes sense now. What are you talking about? Talking about lies, Jane. Lies. Talking about trust, about foundations. Just say what you're saying, you imbecile. Don't you understand? Without me, there is no you and Zoe. The only reason she ever wanted to meet you was to get closer to me. You're out of your mind. Am I? Who's Zoe me first, me or you? Me. Me. Fifth grade, we moved into town. I met her in the cafeteria. I told her I had a sister. So? So they come after Jack through the sister. I don't endorse it, but I certainly understand it. Good strategy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah? Why don't you ask her? Here she comes. Hi, guys. Hey. Zoe B. Jane? Jane, what were you thinking? <laughs> do you want to know what I was thinking, Zoe? When did we first meet? What does that have to do with the fact that you can't keep a secret for more than five seconds? You use shampoo, don't you? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Hi. When did we first meet? I don't know, fifth grade. And who did you meet first, Jack or me? I think Jack. I met Jack in the cafeteria. Yeah, I'm, I met Jack first. What just happened? You know, there's a spot on the neck that when touched exactly right can bring unbelievable pleasure during it. Yeah. This spot right here? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So, look at this. Oh, no. Greeny Kennedy wants you to be her valentine. She'll eat you alive. What did I ever do so wrong to deserve this? Oh, I've heard about this. I can't believe it's happening to you. I thought it was an urban legend. No. Every year, Greeny Kennedy targets some poor innocent lamb to be her valentine. But I don't want to be her valentine. She doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> well, I mean, she gave you this card. There's got to be some nice part of her. I mean, well, hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, Duncan. It'll change your pathetic little life forever. Oh, you don't have to do but that. But once it's over, words of what we did shall never leave your lips. Do you understand? Not entirely. Hey, Breen, what's going on? I got plans for him. I bet you do. Hmm. Give me a free magazine! <laughs> well, that's the end of me. Oh, if you don't want to be Breenie's Valentine, just... I really, really don't. Just tell her. I can do that? You can do that. What do you think she'll do to me? Doesn't matter. You're Duncan. I am, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a teller. Duncan don't do what he don't want to do. That's the end of him. <laughs> okay, Breeny. What? You can just forget about your Valentine's Day death date. Because I don't have to do it, so I'm not gonna. And I don't care if you threaten me or look at me or whatever it is that you do. Because I'm Duncan. And I'm strong. And I'm not gonna back down on this. Duncan, do you know how much electricity runs through that third rail right there? So what time should I pick you up? Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, bring skates, a scarf, and cheese corn. Lots of cheese corn. Yes, ma'am. Zoe, meet again, Zoe B. Are you still on that, Jack? Zoe, I feel a pain. What? Every once in a while, I get a pain right here. I think it's love, a burning love since, hell, the fifth grade. Yeah. Hey, can I give you something? What? This puppy face. Rough. <laughs> oh, and Jane, I want back my bead magic and I want all my Polly Pockets back. You can stop leaving messages, I'm here. I'll leave as many messages as I want. Bye, Jane. You are a user. I am not a user. Give me one example of when I've ever been a user. How about when you use Brini Kennedy to get to know her brother, Montana? You got another one? When you used me to get to know Jack? You weren't interested in being my friend at all. Is that true or not? It's true. It is? <laughs> we were 10. User! Oh, I begged you not to give him the card. I begged you not to tell him about it. But you couldn't help yourself because you are a blabbermouth. What's going on out here? Our friendship is based on a lie. <laughs> so what? I regret the day we met. Our friendship is a sham. Oh, man. Wait a second. Is this? Oh, it, it feels like it could be one. <laughs> It'd be our first, wouldn't it? I can't recall another one. Yeah, our first. <gasps> our first fight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. <laughs> wait, wait. You guys have been friends since the fifth grade, and you've never had a fight? No, but we are now. Right, Jane? Right, Zoe. <laughs> well, I suppose I should leave now. Should I slam the door? Like I care. That's what I'll do then. How is this a fight? Wait, don't you want to take a parting shot at me? User, blabbermouth. That's it. <laughs> Jane? Oh, Mom. Zoe. That was one lame old fight, boy. <laughs>been moping around since yesterday. Is this still about that pathetic excuse for a fight you had with Jane? We've never said one negative word to each other. I'm devastated.
Oh, that's great. I lose my best friend and you laugh. Very nice. You haven't lost your best friend. Nothing happened. Oh, Zoe, nobody cares about this. Zoe, I'm here to comfort you. Hey, Jack. Obsession? Yeah. Me like. Hey, Jane said you had a fight. I want you to know that I am here for you. Right here. Here I am. It was vicious, Jack. It was horrible. You know what would make you feel better? Me touching some part of your body. Oh, she's my best friend. No, we've never fought before. Tell me all about it. Let Jack make it all better. Those are nice pants. She called me a user. You are a user. So am I. We have that in common. Use me to get over this. Keep on using me till you use me out. Can you give us a minute here? Thanks. Uh, 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 here. Uh, it hurts in the bad way. Tell you what, Jack. Why don't you give us a minute? Sure, whatever. I just want to help Zoe. Oh, I know you do. I know you do. And here's how you're going to do it. Get over this. It's crazy. Jane slammed the door, Mom. You can't turn back from something like that. If you'd had a real fight, you'd have gotten it out of your system. You'd be fine now. That's what fighting is for. Sometimes it's healthy and good for a relationship. Hey, you look, we fight. You love me. Kind of. <laughs> I'm just saying it can be very therapeutic. So, Jane and I were to try this fight therapy thing, then we'd be better friends than ever? Well, I'm not saying you should go out and pick a fight, but it's no good to keep things locked up, either. I'm gonna go get Jane right now. Yeah, by the time we're done, we'll be fighting just like you and Dad. Well, honey, you know, that didn't, um, end up very good. <laughs> I didn't understand. I got the cheese curls and the, the cheese whiz and the cheese puffs and all the other products. Put on the scarf. <laughs> what are you doing? This has all the earmarks of a professional hit. <laughs> Nobody's gonna kill you. <laughs> well, then what am I doing here? You're here to skate. Skate all over the pond and then come back. What if I fall through the ice? Well, then the date's over. Now skate! <laughs> okay, Jane. If we're gonna be yelling and screaming at each other, someone has to start. Well, I don't want to. Well, neither do I. But we have years and years of unexpressed hatred in us. We do? Yes. And we need to let it out so we'll feel better. It's like giving our friendship a bath. Okay, all right, I'll try. Zoe, I like your clothes. <laughs> You're never gonna get this. Zoe B, I didn't know you were here. Not now, Jack. Your mouth says not now, but your eyes are telling a different story. Shut up and go away, you puny ass pinhead. You shut up. Die. See, you fight with Jack and all of a sudden you're radiant. I must admit, it does feel great to cut Jack off at the knees. Yeah, so why waste all that good feeling on Jack when we could be using it for ourselves? I mean, we're never going to have a true relationship until we tell each other how we're really feeling. She wants a true relationship, Jane. Is that so wrong of her, Jane? I want to have a true relationship. So what you going to have to do, Zoe? Say something mean to me. Uh huh. Zoe, are you sure you don't mind? It'll only make us stronger. Sounds like you girls are avoiding this. OK, I can do this. Um. Zoe, I don't know. You're a bossy little control freak. Ouch. Maybe you're a little better at this than you thought. All right, don't make nice. OK, I'll go. Jane, you have a wafy little girl body. This is what I've been saying. Well, you used your Mary Tyler Moore hair to catch boys like fishermen use lures to catch bass. Okay, okay, time to make up. <laughs> Casper. Casper? Yeah, 20 minutes under the sun lamp wouldn't kill you, you ghost. We've entered Bitch County. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm quirky. Everything I do is just precious. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jane. I'm an old soul. Could I be any more tortured? User, blabbermouth. You two are just sick. <laughs> Shut up. He's the one who caused it. He's the reason why we're fighting. Oh, good one. 
Use my brother to avoid responsibility of your own? Stuff? User? <laughs> okay, Jane, that was a good one. You can come back now. Oh. That fight was a little too much like Mom and Dad. You look like you just lost your best friend. Come over here and tell your Uncle Jack all about it. <laughs> you enjoying your little head games, Jack? They just cost me my relationship with Jane. No, you guys don't know how to fight, remember? Oh, but now we do. Thank you so much. <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. You can't fix it. You killed it. No, hey, come on, we were playing, Zoe. So. Yeah, I have a strange, bad feeling I can't identify. It's strange and bad. Make it stop. <laughs> You're guilty because you caused this thing with me and Jane. Mom, what have I said about locking the door? You said lock it. <laughs> guilty? No, I've caused a lot of problems before, but I've never felt this. It's because I'm your friend, Jack, and Jane's your sister. Well, all I could say is, ow, this is guilt, no thanks. If you want to get rid of it, you're going to have to undo the damage. Can I just take a pill? No, Jack, sometimes you have to do the right thing. I can't see giving Jane that kind of leverage. <sighs> you're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Get out. See ya. Okay, what was the big joke gonna be, Brainy, huh? Thin ice? Was I supposed to fall to the ice and drown or something funny like that? Ha-ha. <laughs> you didn't, did you? No. And there wasn't any thin ice, right? No. Pull me. <laughs> now, I called you here because you girls are fighting over me. Fight me. <laughs> Now, Zoe and Jane need to be together for this world to turn correctly. Everybody knows that. So, who cares if Jane has a big mouth? I don't have a big mouth. Or Zoe's a user. Tell him I'm not a user, All Jane. that matters is that these two get back on track. It's Valentine's Day, after all. So, here, call me sentimental. How did you get that card? You weren't supposed to see that card. Oh, I saw it when I came over. It was addressed to me, and I thought I'd save you a trip to the post office. Is that wrong? Jane, it was from fifth grade. It doesn't mean anything. Dear Jack, I think you are cute. But the real reason I'm writing is that I am shy and I think your sister is weird and cool. You can be my Valentine if you help your sister become my best friend forever. Yours truly, Zoe. I like the part where it said forever. I don't know what to say. Neither do I. People can get so worked up and over false pretenses. I know, it's a whole hornet's nest out there. You're my best friend, Zoe. You're mine. And, and I don't think you're a user. You are not a blabbermouth. And I didn't mean all that stuff about you being a bossy control freak. You have a Kate Moss type body is what you have. <laughs> Let's go do something. All right. One sec. Um, now, I know that card was written a long time ago, but I do know that that was not what it said. No, no, it wasn't. You switched cards. You actually did something nice. Well, hell. It's Valentine's Day. Now, give us a big thank you kiss. A big one with tongue and everything. You really want to ruin this moment? Yes, I do. Right? I owe you one. As long as you understand, it doesn't mean anything. I understand. That had no feeling attached to it. None whatsoever. Was it satisfying? No. No. Not at all. <laughs> Nothing there. <laughs> Can I keep the real card? As long as you understand, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, Jack. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, Zoe. I love that I'm shallow. <laughs> Bark like a dog. Arrgh! Arrgh! Faster! Hurry up! <laughs> this is getting easier. Uh-oh. 